On my channel, I made a few videos showing pressure tests on Schedule 40 PVC pipes and fittings, strength tested different PVC cleaners and cements, and showed how you can thermoform your own PVC fittings, something that I've been doing successfully for the past 30 years. Unfortunately, I've had a number of viewers, or should I say experts, claiming that what I did with regards to thermoforming greatly weakened the pipe and the connection would ultimately fail. So in this video, we're going to be comparing a brand new section of one inch Schedule 40 PVC pipe to another brand new section of one inch Schedule 40 pipe that I made a thermoformed coupling for in the center. We already have the results from a pressure test on this one inch pipe, so we're going to have something to compare the test of the thermoformed pipe to. The same primer and cement will be used with the same application method and 24 hour drying time. Right here in my other video, you can see the pipe was filled with water, connected up to my hydraulic hand pump, and it was pressurized until the point where it ruptured, and you can see that was right at 1100 PSI. Keep in mind, it does vary slightly. When I tested these pipes, especially of the same size, it could be two, 300 PSI lower, or two to 300 PSI higher, but it seems to average around 1000 PSI, for a one inch PVC Schedule 40 pipe. Right here is a brand new piece of one inch Schedule 40 PVC pipe. I cut it in the center and I'm going to thermoform the coupling. Once that's done, I'm going to put on the end cap, the coupling, along with the bushing inside the coupling that reduces the one inch pipe down to a half inch female thread. The same purple primer and OD clear cement was used for this pipe. Now I'm going to let this sit for 24 hours, come back, and then we're going to test this pipe. With the pipe full of water and connected up to the hydraulic hand pump, I'm now ready to pressurize the pipe. And if it's a little hard to see at what point it actually bursts the pipe, I'm going to display the pounds per square inch at the top of your screen. Here we go. Oh, and as you can see, it ruptured right at or just above 800 PSI. The camera is looking at a little bit of an angle, so you have that parallax. So it is a little lower than the 1100, but the important thing to note, the pipe did not break where I flared it using the thermoforming. It actually broke on the piece that was pushed into the pipe. So the fitting is very strong if you do this, and I know that personally because I have jobs that I did almost 30 years ago using thermoforming and they're still fine to this day. The thermoformed fitting will do just well on your city water supply, which can go up to around 85 PSI. Water mains could be 125 or 150. You have your sprinkler systems. You will not have any problems thermoforming the pipe because you're not going to go anywhere near that 800 PSI or even that 1000 PSI burst pressure. I hope you enjoyed this video.